In this presentation, we will talk what are plasmids. Plasmids are small circular deoxyribonucleic acid molecule, mainly in bacteria. They are self-replicating, independent of chromosome, and are involved in transfer of genetic information. Now the question is, do humans have plasmids? No, in big no, humans do not have plasmids. So we know mainly bacteria have plasmid. Beside bacterial single chromosome, plasmid can also transfer bacterial characteristics to other bacteria. A bacteria may or may not have plasmid. Beside bacteria, fungi or yeast also have plasmid. Let's have a fun quiz. At molecular level, who is more smart, bacteria or human? I will give you the facts and the decision regarding answer lies with you. The facts are human transfer genetic information only through chromosomes, of course chromosomal DNA, whereas bacteria can transfer genetic information through its single chromosome as well as with plasmids also. I hope you have the answer for the quiz, but the facts are bacteria can transfer genetic information through its single chromosome and plasmid provide additional flexibility of transmitting genetic information in bacteria. Some interesting facts about plasmid. First time the word plasmid was used by an American biologist Joshua Lederberg in 1952 and plasmids contain always a circular DNA. A bacteria can have a single or multiple copies of identical plasmids at the same time and this varies between 1 to 1000 identical copies and the size of plasmid varies from 1000 nucleotide that is 1 kb to 200 kb. An interesting fact about the two words plasmids and vector usually people think vector and plasmids are the same words but it's wrong so what it is in actual plasmid is used to describe circular dna in the bacteria whereas vector is a plasmid engineered by the scientists and used for research or production of biological products let's conclude this presentation with one good and one bad about plasmids and the bad first plasmid transfer antibiotic resistance genes in bacteria they produce proteins that can destroy antibiotic leading to antibiotic resistance a major healthcare issue and the good is various biological products including medicines are produced by cloning procedures of putting medicine gene into the plasmids that become vector and insulin production is a good example.